What's going on party people? My name is Solomon. I am an artist and thus I go by Solomon the Artiste. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. But I do like to say in every single video, you do not need to feel pressured to hit that subscribe button. Since you're here, watch this video, watch another two or three videos, and if you like my content, then please subscribe. And yeah, I really would just love to have your viewership, honestly. Um, those of you who do watch, you know pretty much that I never really have a video planned. I usually just see something, something happens, I experience something, and it just sort of provokes me to turn the camera on and speak or sing, you know, whatever happens, happens. And also, the last video I did was um, about two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, if not three weeks ago, where my uh, dog died. And I did not want that to be the last video up for quite so long. My intention, I, you know, I was just feeling so lost in the moment and so I felt the need to I find that YouTube is very therapeutic. It's a really great way to sort of um, express and release and share um, without feeling judged per se, which is kind of ironic because that's what they do in the comment section <laughs> essentially, um, which is fine. But I find that even with that, there's still a greater majority of people with whom I can connect with and um, really just sort of get some sort of connectivity and support from and give back to as someone who's being honest about what they're going through via YouTube. So, but even so, that video was obviously a very sad video. I was actually bawling in the video and anyone who knows me knows that I don't even cry in front of people. So the fact that I allowed myself to do that on camera, um, shocked the heck out of me. I even like questioned myself for a moment as to whether or not I should put this video up. Um, but I figured, you know what, if I reacted like this, you know, in this manner to losing my, losing my pet, really, you know, in my eyes, a family member, I've had him, I had him pretty much since like six weeks after he was born and had him for uh, 12 years and a month. So, you know, pretty much since he was born. So I figured if I reacted like that, then there has to be other people out there who reacted in the same manner, if not worse, you know. So hopefully that video is of help to someone. Um, I wanted to do this video though. So here's the thing, I actually did record another video about a week, maybe a week and a half ago. Cause I, like I said, I didn't want that video to be the last video that's up for so long. Um, but I recorded the video and even though it wasn't a sad, you know, what was me video or whatever, it was still a video that was rather a bit of a downer, I guess. And I didn't realize it until after I watched it over. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to hold off on that video. I don't know if I'll put it up, but in the meantime, while I've got good news, I'll just record myself giving you good news for anyone who's interested. So I've been having the time of my life for the past, I'll say a week, two weeks or so. I am a part of the Royal Shakespeare Company's production of King Lear. That's massive. That's incredible. You know, this will look incredible, like tremendous on my resume. And the audition process was grueling. And out of what seems to be a good maybe 100 people or so, they chose 18 of us to come into the show. And I'm one of those 18. That's massive, you know. I'm so grateful and so proud and you know, we had our first preview on Saturday. Um, I'm not in every show, but I am in a great deal of the show. So my first time on stage in front of an audience was um, on Sunday, yesterday. But fortunately, I am a part of the um, opening, official opening night. Um, but I am just having the time of my life. I feel like I'm watching a masterclass. These actors from England are 
so, so, so amazing and gifted and generous with their time and answering questions. And I'm not even gonna lie, I am so, 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 so ready to head to England for school. Like I really, like just speaking to them and like watching them and seeing what they have to offer and actually, you know, realizing, cause you know, you would, you would assume, you know, someone um, who is directly from English, directly from the UK to some degree would have a better handle on Shakespeare. Cause like for me, Shakespeare is not particularly easy. I have to go through the process of sort of translate, translating um, Shakespeare into modern day English and modern day American English so that I can know what my intentions and my, um, what I'm giving and what I'm getting and whatnot, what all those things are. And then I have to sort of take that sub subtext and stick it underneath Shakespeare's actual text and then, you know, build and give in that manner. Granted, I learned that from um, one of my favorite directors from my college, uh, Professor Marion, and it's worked tremendously. It works tremendously for me, obviously. I'm in the show. I'm working with the Royal Shakespeare Company, you know? Um, but I, just speaking to them, I'm realizing like, this is what I've been looking for. I've been looking for an opportunity to get out of New York. Like I love New York and I plan to live my life in New York. That's what I want. There's nothing, there's no place like New York. But at the same time, there's a whole world beyond New York that I want to see and experience and just cherish. You know, I want memories more so, far more so than I want money or fame or anything. I have no desire to be famous, to be honest, and I have no desire to be rich, but I do have a desire to just simply be comfortable and be able to help others, you know? Um, but even if I don't have that, memories I think are beautiful and what greater memory memories are there to have than those where you've traveled and experienced this great world that God created, you know? So I digress. I basically realized it would just make perfect sense for me to go to England and study this craft that I love, acting, and sort of kill two birds with one stone. Why not go out there instead of like trying to spend all this money here in the U.S. going to any um, MFA program for acting, why not just go to England and do that? And like I said, kill two birds with one stone. I can travel and see a whole other world beyond not just New York or America, but see a whole other world, England, you know, the U.K., and study something that I genuinely love. You know, it just makes sense. So speaking to these actors, you know, they've really encouraged me. Thank God for some odd reason they see something in me just by speaking to me and hearing, you know, the tone of voice that I have and such. It's really um, an incredible compliment that they find things in me that they think the Brits would love, you know, uh, from me, you know, so. I've been looking into it. I've been doing my research and it's something I'm really, really, really and truly um, considering and realistically preparing for. So where am I at? 846? Not too bad. So I have just been having the time of my life. Of course, yes, there are some bad apples, not with the Brits themselves, but, you know, within um, the circle of folk that have been within the, the the group of Americans that have been hired into the show you know um nothing bad at all in, in respect to other shows I've been a part of but absolutely not but um you know everyone has their quirks you know and that's not to say that whosoever this one or two per people that I have a little thing with, you know, that they're bad people, nor am I saying that I'm a bad person. It's not everyone, it's just that not everyone connects all the time, you know, and that's just the way it is. Um, and such is life, you know, so, so no, it's not that something bad happened. It's just, you just realize as you grow older and you function through life and whatnot, you realize that not everyone is for you. You are not for everyone. And it just is what it is, you know? Um, 
yeah, I'm trying to figure is there anything else I want to talk about. So, um, so I also, so I'm trying so hard to make this money for this um, trip to LA at the end of the month. Not the end of this month, at the end of um, June. You know, because I'm going out there with my with my label mates, with my brothers to perform to just showcase and share what it is that we do. You know, this art that we create, this music that, you know, is meant to change lives, you know? And, you know, it's, it, I have to mention though, you know, again, going back a little, it's kind of, it kind of overlaps, you know? I've met a few people, so uh, addition, in addition to meeting other actors, of course, all actors, all artists have their, 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 their side gigs and whatnot, and it just so happens that one of the actors that I'm working with, he has a music, um, what did he call it, sort of a, sort of like a music review site type thing, but it's really for for us, like the indie artists and whatnot, but they review essentially everything. So, like, one of the last artists that he interviewed was Crystal Waters, you know? And I know people would be like, well, that's Crystal Waters, you know, she's from the 90s. Little do people know, Crystal Waters has been releasing music essentially every year um, since the 90s, you know? But her forte is dance music, so we don't get to see and hear much of her, you know, in the mainstream, so to speak. But she's had a number one hit. I think this guy says she's had a number one hit just about every year since the 90s, you know, or at least has had a release every year, that much for sure. She's had a release of some sort every year since the 90s. And I believe that because I actually went to go see her, but well, I didn't go to see her. I went to go see Deborah Cox, but she happened to be one of the openers, not the openers, but she performed before Deborah Cox. I don't want to like disrespect her, you know, her legendaryness. Don't judge me. So either way, the point is, I looked up his site and everything, and it's a pretty profound site. So, excuse me. So he explained to me, you know, I'd love to hear what you have. I'd love if, you know, I'd, he basically is ready to review. And especially because I told him what my music is about. I told him that I'm very, very 90s and not just, you know, 90s R&B or 90s this. It's literally some of everything. And it was funny that he brought up Crystal Waters because one of my songs does take some inspiration from um, one of her best known songs, Gypsy Woman, obviously, you know. So, yeah. Um, but I'm just having the time of my life right now, you know? Like, I love that there's literally working with, with the Brits, some of us call them, you know, they literally, like, they do sort of have that stereotype of tea. Like, they literally take tea breaks, which I think is so hilarious but somehow so comforting at the same time it's really it's really it's just dope i don't know how else to put it <laughs> um but yeah it's yeah i will admit one of so there's a scene where we have to sort of just stand still in place for about 20 minutes somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes while the leads, you know, have their their scene. And I got a little nervous at one point because there was a guy who's a part, one of the Americans, you know, that got hired with me who, when we first practiced standing there throughout the scene, he pretty much passed out. You know, like passed out flat on his face, um, had to get stitches, the whole nine yards. and. It made a lot of us nervous. Like we were like busy trying to figure out, crap. You know, how do we? What, what do we do? It's like, and it's such a strange thing because it's like, you know, should I stay hydrated, or am I screwing myself over? Because what if I got to stand there and I got another ten minutes to go, and then I really got to pee? And it's not like we're just standing there. We're standing there holding, you know, props, um, large props. So it's, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, it's this crazy thing. Um, but that's what art is. You figure it out. And we've been figuring it out. And it's been, you know, by the grace of God, like me, for example, there's a part in the show where I carry this t big, tall sun, basically. And like one of my tracks, one of my characters is called the sun. One of my tracks, not not a character in Shakespeare's show. But um, yeah, it, it, it's a huge prop. And literally, I... 
I lost my train of thought. What? Where was I going with that? It's like, oh yeah. So it's like super heavy. So it's like, and where I stand in the show, like if I pass out or something, like I, <laughs> the the lead of the show, like the, the sun would fall straight on his head, and I would never hear the end of it. I'm certain. But um, yeah. So either way, that is what it is. Um, them girls are beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Um. The, 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 you know, what I love is that it's a completely inclusive cast as well. Like, like I'm sure racism exists in the UK to some degree, which I don't, I, I don't, I remember some of my castmates talking about it and saying that they feel that maybe it's not as loud as it is in the US, but it's very much so as prevalent. Um, it's interesting because like I know, I, I read an article some time ago and then you see it in this day and age to be true, you know, based on all the people who are my age, a lot of them look, well, essentially like me, you know, because their parents are interracial couples, you know? Um, so there's like a multitude of people who are like in their 20s to 40s who basically, you know, have my complexion or just basically are mixed, you know? And so they, okay, not too bad. So they, um, so I know that there's more openness to interracial relationships, far more than there is here in the U.S., I would say, to be honest. Um, however, why did I bring this up? Oh, yes, yeah, so, like, the, 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 the cast, it's so inclusive, like, there's some of everything. Well, essentially, it's black and white. Um, but what I love is that, you know, like I said, it's King Lear, I believe I said that at the beginning of the video, but King Lear has three daughters. and. You know, the lead, King Lear, is played by, um, by, uh, Sir Sher, <laughs> who, who is white, and then his three daughters, literally, there's a, there are two white girls playing his daughters, and then the main girl, Cordelia, is a black girl, a beautiful black girl at that, you know, like, she has body, like, she has an hourglass figure and everything, and, She's just gorgeous and skin like butter, like, oh my God, beautiful. But, um, did I sound like a creep? I'm sorry, but she's beautiful. I ain't gonna lie, she's beautiful. But, um, I digress again. Um, I'm sitting here talking to y'all and my laptop's like falling all over the place. Um, what is that? What's going on here? What is that? All of that's going on. Oh my goodness, what is going on? So let's see if I can make that work. So I'm gonna just sit like this the rest of this, this video. Um, Y'all can see lately I've been becoming a lot more, I, I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable in front of the camera now too. I'm like looking at myself, but looking, I, I had to stop doing that. Like I find myself looking, but either way, I'm becoming a lot more comfortable on the camera, I think. and. That's great because it's a lot less editing on my part because, you know, now I can just think quickly, be a lot more quick-witted and just speak and just, you know, chill and whatnot. Um, but maybe this is something I should say for another video. I'll just talk about it real quick. You know, I, I heard... Actually, I'll save that for another video. Maybe I'll do that right after this because I don't want this to go over 20 minutes. So, ultimately the whole point of this video was really just to say I'm having the time of my life. Like, I am a part of a show that I'm just honored to be a part of. I'm being paid good enough. Um, <laughs> I am going to start uh, managing for about two weeks or so. Um, a theater for the Tribeca Film Festival, which is great. That's another paycheck and all of this is something that I can use towards my LA trip to go out and perform and promote my new album. And that's what I was getting to also earlier with the guy that I'm in the show with, you know. That's just automatic, like, and he's so generous with, it's just me speaking, I, 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 as he put it, I spoke so passionately about the music that I'm doing and, and whatnot that he just felt like, Let's do this, you know? And so I'm excited to see where this goes, what happens, and I just can't wait to share it with you all. So with that said, I am glad that this will be the last video 
not the last video I do, but the last video um, on my channel, as opposed to, you know, me crying my eyes out over my precious dog. I know. Um, but the point is, yeah. But that's another thing, too. I don't mind, even though I, I, I said, you know, I was questioning whether or not I should put up the video, I put it up ultimately because I want my channel to be one that's real. Even though my goal in life is not to be a YouTuber, like, you know, for some people, this is what they want. They want to build a career and a life and a living via YouTube. Yeah, I want YouTube to be, you know, a part of my journey, so to speak, you know, because I can use it in the manner that I so choose as an artist. But ultimately, you know, I'm not going to, you know, sacrifice my time and my mental health and whatnot um, for YouTube, you know, because YouTube isn't my main it's a part of my main um and if i can if i happen to get to the point where i can make a make some money with youtube then absolutely i'm grateful you know but um but yeah look out for me music's coming i'm working in a show now um more shows are coming up life is going great um i'm just super excited i'm not gonna put any more ums in there <laughs> thank you so much for watching and god bless